You've seen them on the roads. Maybe you've been one of them. But the people who are driving around, bobbing and weaving in lanes, knocking into people, distracted drivers. Distracted drivers are an excellent example um, that you can use to think about the questions. Can somebody do two different demanding tasks at the same time? We know from previous mini lectures that doing two easy tasks at the same time, dividing your attention over two simple tasks, task sharing is possible. But what happens when those tasks are really difficult? Well, that's what talking on your cell phone and driving is all about or texting on your cell phone. Uh, it turns out that people who are talking on their cell phones, not even texting, but talking on their cell phones, drive as poorly as people who are legally drunk. You would never put your child in a car with a drunk driver behind the wheel, but yet I have seen the parents in the minivans and they're texting on their cell phones while the kids are in the back. They haven't heard this lecture. Uh, one study simply put little cameras inside of cars and let the drivers drive around for an extended period of time. And what they found out, people who are talking on their cell phones are four more like four times, that is 400%, four times more likely to get in a car accident. And here's the thing, in a lot of states, the rule says you can't have a cell phone in your hand, but you can use hands-free cell phones. Uh, it's not about the hands, folks. Whether you're holding your cell phone or you've got a holder in your car that's doing it for you, it's not the hand holding that's the problem. It's the attention. A wonderful researcher at the University of Utah, David Strayer, has done a series of fantastic studies on driving while using your cell phone. Uh, let me tell you about one study that he published a while back now uh, using a driving simulator. He had uh, participants in a little driving simulator driving around while they are talking on their cell phone. And they, he found that uh, drivers who are talking on their cell phones miss twice as many red lights. They're 20% lower, slower at hitting the brakes. Uh, there's a 100% increase in the number of rear-end accidents they caused. Um, they drift out of their lanes all the time. Um, and it does not matter if we're talking about people talking on their cell phones that are hands-free or in their hands. So it was Strayer who proved that talking on your cell phone is as bad as driving drunk. Why? What happens when people are talking on their cell phone? These two pictures say it all, okay? When you are not talking on your cell phone, when you're just focusing on driving and you're driving down the road, this box here shows you the areas, the area in which you're looking while you're driving. You're looking around to make sure that no kids jump off the sidewalk or in between cars. You're looking, I don't know, 10 cars ahead of you, you're looking right in front of you, you're scanning a very wide region of the space in front of your car, the space that you are driving your car into. What happens if you do the same task while you're driving on your cell phone? See that nice big box? It gets small. So all people are doing when they're driving while talking on their cell phones is basically looking at the car right in front of them. So if a kid jumps off the sidewalk to get a ball, they're not gonna see the kid, they're gonna hit the kid. If somebody slams on their brakes two cars up, they're gonna run right into you. Um, yeah, that's what happens. When you talk on your cell phone, your brain automatically has to direct attentional resources to the conversation on the cell phone. And this is a conversation that you're having with someone who cannot see you, right? That's a whole lot more cognitive demanding than having a conversation with another person in the car. Yeah. Um, uh, when you are talking on a hands-free device or handheld, you just are not looking around the scene nearly as much. What happens in your brain? Okay, remember when we talked about the parietal cortex up here? Your parietal cortex 
helps you process movement and it also enables you to figure out where you are in space and where everything else is laid out in space. So all the spatial stuff that you need to keep track of uh, while you're driving, that's a parietal cortex. Okay, look at the figure on the left. This is brain activity in your parietal cortex while you are simply driving. Okay, so you have a good chunk of your parietal cortex working away while you're driving. But let's do the same driving task, but this time a person is not actually having a conversation. They're just having to judge whether statements that they're hearing are true or false. Um, and this is like one small component of what you might do when you're having a conversation, right? When you're thinking, is Johnny telling me the truth? Okay, look at the picture on the right. Much less brain activity in your parietal lobe when you are distracted and driving. So you don't have as much uh, neural machinery processing where things are in space when you are distracted as a driver. That's why you literally do not see things. What I'm gonna do now, just to convince people that talking on your cell phone or texting on your cell phone is just is uh, dis distracting, is I'm gonna show you a video that I just love. It comes from France, where they came up with this ingenious idea. They got students who were prepared to take their driver's license test, and they told them, okay, now in France, we're about to pass a new rule, and the rule is that you can't get your driver's license until you can prove to us that you can use your cell phone and drive well at the same time. Uh, so the voice will be in French, um, but it'll be subtitled in English below. Enjoy. Je ne sais pas si tu es au courant. Il euh, y a toutes des mesures au niveau sécurité routière qui vont être prises. On va au contraire obliger les gens à savoir utiliser un GSM en conduisant. Dans le périmètre maintenant, on va devoir passer à un TGSM. Tu dois pouvoir envoyer un SMS et éviter un obstacle et passer à côté. Oh, putain ah, oui. C'est pas moi qui l'ai inventé. Tu peux regarder ici. Voilà. Il ouais. y en a beaucoup qui vont se cracher avec ah, ça. Ah mais ben, ça. je veux bien croire. Hein. Voilà, ton GSM, je vais chercher des frais. Regarde tout ce qu'on s'en va. Ah oui. Oh là là. Oh. Entrerons en retard ce soir. Et attention que je corrige les fautes après. Hein. Regarde comment tu m'as écrit l'école. Oh là. Oui, c'est impossible. Voilà. Je suis de retour ce soir. Ah, ah oh, ben là, ça... Oh, ah, ouais, là, là, ça te va rien. Hein. Bon, t'imagines, ça c'est un enfant. Enfin, va, vas-y. 400, ah, Honnêtement, j'ai l'impression d'être un connard qui ne oui. sait pas du tout conduire. Voilà, en fait. voilà exactement. C'est qui n'importe quoi, hein Tu ne vas pas te faire faire. Après, c'est ça. Oui. Ben, c'est dangereux ce qu'ils vont faire. Si la loi passe, je ne roule plus. Non. Tu tournes, oui, mais. Regarde la route. Ah oh. Je n'arrive pas. Non, mais je n'arrive pas. Hein. Il va y avoir des tués. Il va y avoir des tués, hein Il va y avoir des morts sur les routes. Je sais pas conduire, attraper mon GSM. Moi, je sais pas faire les deux, quoi. Ah. C'est trop dangereux. Hopefully, that was kind of fun. Uh, it's amazing how poorly we drive when we're using our cell phones. And we're not aware of it because using our cell phones demands attention. So we don't have enough attention to drive well and we don't have enough attention to know that we're driving poorly. So that's why we're also deluded about this. But it's not just cell phones. Uh, cars are making, automobile companies are making cars with uh, voice activated commands to do all sorts of things, play music, uh, give you directions, um, tell you what the latest baseball scores are. It turns out those are also very distracting. 
what I've got up now is a graph from AAA uh, looking at um, how distracting various uh, voice activated car systems are. And you can see that there's tremendous variability. Now these are cars from uh, five years ago, 2015. But the point is that some cars are incredibly distracting. Uh, some cars are not so distracting. Um, honestly, I do not understand why uh, there haven't been lawsuits yet uh, um, against automobile companies that use these or sell these highly distracting uh, software packages because from what I've just told you, distraction equals death when you're talking about cars. Um, now I've been harping at young people about using their cell phones while driving. It turns out that when you look at the distraction levels of these voice activated systems in cars, they're even worse for older people, right? We're not as good at dividing our attention or I don't know what it is, but, um, uh, older folks using these systems on average uh, can lead to even more negative consequences. And it gets worse. Okay, let's say you're in a place where you decide, oh, it's just life or death. I really have to use my cell phone while I continue to drive. I'm just going to do it for a second, say two words and hang up. Okay, you can go through that logic. But here's the flaw. From the moment you hang up for 20 more seconds, you remain distracted. Your reaction times are not as fast as they would be if you had just dro dri driven without using, having used your cell phone. Um, it takes 27 seconds before you get back to that level of conscious awareness. Um, so that you can react quickly to cars cutting you off or a puppy running through the, the roadway. Switching your attention back takes time. And you know this already, right? Because we talked about repetition blindness. So here is my summary to those of you who insist on using your cell phones while you drive. Honk if you love God, text while driving if you wanna meet him. It's as simple as that. <laughs>